Kitchen. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to clean the liver, cook the liver, and eat the liver. Okay, yes, you might be wondering why is it the mutton liver? Okay, yes, mutton liver is high in cholesterol. Uh, if we eat it moderately, I think it's okay. I think the last I ate mutton liver was six months back, and we decided to eat mutton liver today so uh, we bought uh, the whole set of the mutton liver and uh, we we are going to actually show you how to clean and cook the mutton liver okay mutton liver is one of a uh, powerful um, nutrient uh, dense um, organ meat okay it's full of uh, vitamin A it's a very powerful vitamin A and it's got folic acid it's um, got iron and zinc okay it also keep our hemoglobin level uh, at its level correctly and it helps in eye health and uh, it reduces the disease that cause inflammations okay so these are the benefits of our liver Okay, I will uh, show you how to clean up the liver and boil it. Cook, we drain the water, okay. Later, we need to uh, cool it down and we have to remove a skin. There will be a layer of skin here. We have to remove the skin before cutting them, okay. Okay, now my livers are ready. I've already cleaned up. Mm, I've, uh, this is actually the... Um, a soft liver okay this soft liver they have a layer of skin here okay which after cooking uh, what I mean is you have to boil this liver okay this liver we have to boil it cut cut away this uh, hard liver from the soft liver so we have to boil this liver after boiling this liver we throw away the water which wash nicely and there will be a skin a layer of skin if you can rem remove it, it's good. Okay, I try my very best to remove the skin. And now I have cut it into small pieces. Okay, this is the other hot liver. Okay, how much you wash also the blood will be flowing because it's liver. So don't wash away all because your nutrition will all be gone. So I've already washed and I've cleaned up and I cut into smaller pieces. Okay, now I'm going to cook this liver, which is the soft liver. I'm not going to cook together. You want, you can cook it together, but there is time variation for the cooking for individual liver. They take time. So I'm cooking the um, uh, soft liver first, okay? What are the ingredients? Let's see here. Yeah? Okay, I have some onions here. I have about two onions cut into small pieces. Two green chili, I slide it and cut it into four. And here I have a two tomatoes, cut it into six. Some curry leaves. And for the spices, I have my cinnamon, but two. Star anise, two. I have a few gloves, about six. Some gardamons, about five. I have fennel seeds, okay? And I have my... Uh, lemongrass and ginger garlic paste about three tablespoons and here is my masala powder which is mixed with chili powder and here I have some salt and not forgetting my fresh turmeric forgetting my fresh turmeric okay okay now let's uh, go to the kitchen we start how to cook the wok is ready is heated up with oil and now adding my cinnamon and my star anise, my glove, my cardamom okay adding in my fennel seed okay they are all well roasted adding in my onions And my green chili together. Okay, 
let the onions be a bit brown. While they are cooking, I will mix my masala. Okay, add in water to my masala, which is about four tablespoons. Mutton paste, mutton powder, and I'm adding in about um, one and a half chili powder because I want it spicy. So. Um, I'm adding in and mixing the water. Okay, now it's ready. I can add into the pot. Okay. Okay. Let our masala cook for a while in the oil. As I used to say, we have to awaken the masala which are in the bottles. Okay. okay. I can add in my salt now. make it into a gravy see which you all prefer okay after for a while stir for a while i'm going to add in some water to let the liver cook nicely and i'm going to add in one more ingredient that will be the white pepper which i didn't mention just now okay add in some white pepper maybe about one and a half teaspoon okay and we can cover the lid to let it cook and I'll be back again and this is my white pepper okay we cover up for a while first before adding in water to let the masala uh, to taste more better than giving us a raw taste okay Ok, 
Okay, I think I cover it for a while. Huh? I'll come back again. Okay, yes, it's high time. You need to add in the water. Taste for your salt uh, or maybe your even your you know, spice level. Let's see how you want. Yeah. Okay, we don't cover. Okay, we just let it cook. And I'll be back in an about 20 minutes time. Okay, after 20 minutes, I back to see how is my liver. Okay, now the water has dried up mm, and the mutton smells good and I press it, uh, it's, already, it's, it's cooked, uh, you can taste for your salt, mm. okay, yeah, later I will garnish it. This one for the ending, the ending later.